Horror games stand tall as one of the most popular genres in the medium, which sits at the top right beside first-person shooters and action adventures. Over the last few decades, countless developers have provided varied tasks on a horror game ranging from psychological horror to survival horror and action horror among a slew of other subgenres. With this feature, we are taking a look back at the rich history of horror games and counting down 30 of the best horror games of all time. Resident Evil 2 Remake Resident Evil 2 Remake is an excellent reimagining of the survival horror classic, and it stands tall as one of the best remakes of recent memory. The game presents a striking rendition of the familiar Raccoon City complete with new puzzles and third-person shooting mechanics that make this experience a lot different than the original. While the campaign is definitely on the shorter side, plenty of side content including but not limited to ghost survivors should keep you occupied for a long time. Dead Space Remake Set against the backdrop of the USG Ishimura, Dead Space Remake is an unforgettable journey through its many necromorph-infested corridors and pathways. Originally released in 2008, Dead Space features impressive dismemberment mechanics that have been smoothed out and improved with the recently released remake. Add to that some gorgeous graphics, and Dead Space Remake is a deal that's hard to miss out on. Silent Hill 2 Despite being over 20 years old at this point, Silent Hill 2 is considered one of the finest games of its ilk, and a lot of that credit can be attributed to the excellent atmosphere that surrounds the eerie town of Silent Hill and the story that continues to crawl under your skin and make you uneasy to the core. The action is definitely dated at this point in time, but Silent Hill 2 is a classic that paved the way for countless horror games to follow. Alan Wake Developed by Remedy Entertainment of Max Payne fame, Alan Wake is a survival horror game that puts players in the shoes of Alan Wake as he navigates through the ups and downs of the titular dark place. The story continues to get creepy as you delve into its darkest depths. The gameplay starts out simple, but new enemy types and large-scale encounters make the later sections of this release a lot more enjoyable. P.T. While PT is technically a video game demo, it has managed to create a long-lasting impact on those who tried this excellent teaser. There's a distinct sense of tension pervading each step you take in this house, and the game does an excellent job of building anticipation for each jump scare and grand enemy reveal. It's a shame, then, that the Silent Hills project never saw the light of day, but I guess we'll take what we have. Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly builds upon the foundations of the original and creates a horror story that is widely considered to be one of the scariest stories ever told. The gameplay is all about using your magical camera to capture ghosts, gather clues, and explore the haunted surroundings that continue to get creepier as you progress through the story. It's definitely a bit dated in terms of graphics and gameplay, but it also has a distinct charm to it that makes it worth trying even after all these years. The Quarry Developed by Supermassive Games, The Quarry is a story about a group of teenagers trying to survive a night at a haunted summer camp. Your objective is to try and make the right decisions to get out with the maximum number of survivors, but that's easier said than done, since the story can branch out in a bunch of different tangents. But then again, the fun also comes from experimenting with this narrative and eventually charting out the best path to the ending. Until Dawn Released in 2015, Until Dawn is yet another game from Supermassive and has the same basic premise, except that you have to survive a night at Blackwood Mountain. As such, Until Dawn isn't all too different, but it is still a solid story that excellently uses tricks of horror to keep a player uneasy and guessing for the next jump scare. Of course, your choices also matter, and the narrative does a good job of respecting your decisions and altering the outcome. Condemned Criminal Origins Condemned Criminal Origins is a game about cracking the mystery behind serial killings by the titular matchmaker, but the story quickly evolves past that initial premise into something much bigger. The combat is all about dispatching enemies with melee weapons like pipes and axes, which remains brutal in the best way possible. In addition to this, you can also scour the environments in search of clues to aid you in your investigation, which not only make this horror title different from contemporaries, but also adds some much needed variety to the experience. Soma Frictional Games' Soma tells a riveting tale about a man who has lost all memories of his past self and wakes up in a mysterious science facility. 
The gameplay revolves around sneaking through environments and solving puzzles. It's all brutal stuff, since the enemies can be extremely aggressive, and the environments are also appropriately threatening. Soma is not everyone's cup of tea, but horror game fans ought to give this one a shot. Alien Isolation Alien Isolation is all about trying to avoid the ferocious xenomorph that roams the space station while completing the many objectives that remain scattered throughout different parts of the map. The enemy AI adapts to your playstyle, which means that players will have to be dynamic in their strategies to make it out alive, which ensures that tension levels are at a constant high throughout the experience. The Thing The Video Game Based on the popular film of the same name, The Thing is one of the most underrated games of its ilk. The game is also notable for its fear trust system, where NPC companions will follow or betray you depending on how you manage their stress levels throughout the campaign. But apart from that, the thing features solid gameplay and an entertaining story that's well worth experiencing if you haven't. Amnesia The Dark Descent Amnesia The Dark Descent does a great job of establishing a creepy atmosphere and playing tricks on the player's psyche to make them uneasy to the core. You get to explore a deserted castle, and the horrors that lie within harken back to the past memories of Daniel. The gameplay is all about sneaking through these environments and outwitting your enemies, but that's easier said than done, especially considering how scary these places can be. The Evil Within 2 the Evil Within 2 smartly expands upon the concepts of its predecessor and crafts an excellent survival horror game in an open-world-esque setting. The third-person shooting has a ton of improvements and refinements, which in turn makes the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay a lot more interesting this time around. Exploration is also much more engaging, since there are so many optional areas to check for interesting lore information, additional encounters, or just precious resources. Little Nightmares 2 Little Nightmares 2 is an interesting game in that it features a cute cartoonish art style on the surface, but hides an innately disturbing horror adventure underneath that inviting veneer. The levels are carefully curated with plenty of disturbing props, and the jump scares that are peppered throughout each level do a good job of playing on your fear of the unknown. The Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes Yet another supermassive developed game on this list, the Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes follows the story of multiple protagonists surviving supernatural forces amidst a war. The choices that you make at every critical story point are vital in deciding the outcome of each of these protagonists, and QTEs are also peppered in to shake things up. It's obviously highly replayable since there are multiple endings to unlock, so you could spend dozens of hours trying to figure out how to achieve the most satisfying endings. Dying Light Dying Light combines a fluid movement system with solid melee slashing combat to create a distinct yet fresh experience. The open world is not only dense with different routes to take, but has plenty of side quests and distractions to keep you busy for quite some time. Add to that the excellent expansion, and Dying Light becomes a vast horror game that you could play for hours on end without getting tired of doing the same things over and over again. Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem Developed by Silicon Knights, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem is a master class when it comes to keeping player tension high throughout the experience. The game makes great use of its sanity effects, which add all sorts of weird effects, ranging from lowering the game volume to shifting camera angles to spraying blood on walls which can catch you off guard and make you uneasy to the core. It's definitely a bit dated by modern standards, but it's a game that's well worth experiencing for fans of the horror genre. The Last of Us Part 1 the Last of Us Part 1 is an excellent amalgamation of gut-wrenching story with methodical stealth action gameplay set in a post-apocalyptic setting. Joel and Ellie's massive trek across America is one that players will remember long after the credits roll, and it's punctuated by plenty of memorable encounters and set pieces that'll keep you glued to the edge of your screen at all times. Resident Evil 7 the Resident Evil franchise took a sharp turn back to its survival horror roots with Resident Evil 7, but it was a turn that was worth the risk. Set against the backdrop of a crumbling Baker mansion, Ethan's story of rescuing Mia is filled with boss fights that keep coming back from the dead, and grim environments that have the potential to make you uneasy at the core. It's an excellent game with plenty of innovations and merits to its name, and fans should definitely try it out. Manhunt 
Manhunt flips the power dynamic of a horror game on its head by putting you in the shoes of a hunter instead of the hunted. Developed by Rockstar Games of GTA fame, Manhunt is all about dispatching enemies in the most gruesome ways possible. The executions and takedowns are brutal, and the dimly lit levels and shady places where you have to perform these killings accentuate the horror to another level. Layers of Fear the recently released Layers of Fear wasn't able to garner much critical or commercial success, but the 2016 original remains a great time for horror fans nevertheless. Players are put in the shoes of a mentally disturbed painter as he makes his way through a creepy mansion to complete his magnum opus. Exploration and puzzle solving are the two major pillars of Layers of Fear's gameplay, and the game does a good job of juggling them with its storytelling to make for a consistently engaging experience. System Shock 2 The original System Shock was an influential game that's widely considered to be the granddaddy of immersive sims. But the sequel, System Shock 2, is where the series really kicks into high gear. System Shock 2 not only improves upon the immersive sim elements of the original, but also adds a ton of horror as you face the many trials and tribulations laid by the rogue AI Shodan. Signalis Signalis is a glorious throwback to classic survival horror games and everything from its retro art style to the inventory management and isometric perspective is a clear reminder of those inspirations. But it's also equal parts its own thing, most notably with its story that surrounds Elster's quest to reunite with her lost partner and lost dreams. Signalis is an underappreciated horror gem, one that needs to be tried out by a lot more fans. Bloodborne the dark and bloody streets and alleyways of Yarnum are home to some truly nightmarish creatures, and the player must trudge against these insurmountable odds to end this hellish night. Between the imposing art design and frequent ambushes by the enemies, Bloodborne excellently juggles between traditional jump scares and mechanical horror designed to keep a player on their toes, which makes it one of the best in its class. Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1 Developer Telltale is a master of creating flexible narratives that twist and turn based on the choices that you make. And The Walking Dead is one of the best displays of the developer's strongest suits. The characters are charming, and the decisions that you make can take the story down markedly different routes. It's obviously a more relaxed experience, since there isn't a lot of interactivity involved, but it has its own charm that slowly grows on you. Resident Evil 1 Remake Resident Evil 1 Remake is one of the most influential games of its time, and it's a game that retains its distinct charm, even after multiple decades since its release. Set against the backdrop of the Spencer Mansion, RE1 is a survival horror game where players have to be deeply methodical about their gameplay and the resources that they carry at all times to have a shot at victory. Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl might be one of the most underrated games of its ilk, and that's a shame because this post-apocalyptic game features one of the most threatening open worlds in the medium. The exclusion zone is chock full of both human and inhuman threats, and you must be resourceful with whatever scant supplies that you have to be able to make it out of such situations alive. Stories Untold as the name suggests, Stories Untold is a compilation of horror stories, each of which comes with its own set of gameplay mechanics, but despite that disjointed nature, Stories Untold makes good use of that variety and makes sure that each adventure utilizes its mechanics to the fullest extent, without compromising on the horror aspect of it all. It's a rather unique experience, and should be worth trying if you're looking for something that's out of the box. Visage Visage is quite evidently a spiritual successor to P.T., but that comparison shouldn't be taken as a criticism by any means. While it does take a lot of cues from Kojima's horror project right from its setting to the style of horror, it also introduces new mechanics like a sanity meter that add a level of mechanical tension to the gameplay proceedings as well. Sure, there are a few rough edges here and there, but Visage is a largely compelling experience that shouldn't be missed out on. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request, we upload new videos every single day. And if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.